Hey party people, if you guys are looking to install WordPress and build your first WordPress website, today I'll walk you guys through how to do that. WordPress is the world's most popular CMS platform that allows you to build websites using free drag and drop page builders and free plugins to further extend your website. WordPress powers more than 43% of all websites on the internet, making it the number one CMS. It's a really easy to learn open source platform that allows anyone to build a website. The first thing you'll need is web hosting. Most web hosting companies offer WordPress for free when you sign up. You can then install WordPress on your domain and you'll be on your way building your websites. My personal recommended web host is Hostinger. They are fast, affordable, and reliable. They have the lowest prices in the industry, free domains, and you can build unlimited websites. We also do have an exclusive discount that will give you guys the maximum discount available for Hostinger. So let me walk you guys through how to install WordPress and set up your new WordPress websites. Now there is a link in the description of this video. It'll take you to Hostinger's homepage where we are going to purchase web hosting, then install WordPress on your new domain. Okay, so this is Hostinger.com and Hostinger again is among one of the fastest and also the most reliable web hosting. It's also officially recommended by WordPress itself. So you guys can know you guys are signing up with a fast and reliable web host. Once you guys get here, here at the top right under hosting, you're gonna click on web hosting. Next, you'll click on claim deal. This will bring you to three different pricing options. You got premium, business, and cloud startup. I definitely recommend to go with business. Most people always go with business because here you get increased performance, you get NVMe storage, and you can host 100 websites with unlimited email and so on and so forth. It's honestly the best value for money. So right here, click on add to cart. Okay, now the next option is to choose a period. So we have 48 months, 24 months, 12 months, and one month. Now I definitely recommend to go with 12 months. This actually gives you the best value. You guys get a free domain, and we also have a discount code to save you guys a little bit more money. Just remember, you guys also do have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if this doesn't work out for you for any reason, no problem, you guys can always get your money back at any time. So once you guys select 12 months or better, you'll scroll down. Here you'll enter in an email and also a password where you guys will enter credentials to create your new hosting your accounts. We'll then scroll down right here. You guys can choose to pay with credit card, PayPal, and even cryptocurrency. How about that? So right here, you guys will enter in your information, like your first name, your last name, your social security number. I'm just kidding, guys. You're not gonna enter your social, it's a joke, all right? <laughs> so you'll go ahead and enter in your uh, information right here. Now, if you guys scroll down, you guys will see this option here for a coupon code. Now, I actually have a coupon code even better than what their website offers. If you click on have a coupon code, here we can enter the coupon code Daryl10 and then click on apply. All right, and you guys will see that you guys will save like five or six more bucks using my coupon code. And the next option is you guys will enter your name of your credit card. You'll put in your credit card information right here the month, the year, and the CVC code. Now, once you guys go ahead and fill all this out, I will then meet you on the very next page. Okay, so when you guys sign up, it'll bring you to this page right here. Now, they're gonna ask you various questions, but I do recommend to skip it and just install WordPress. So at the bottom right here, I'll click on skip. So next, it's gonna ask us what tools we want to use to build our website with. I also recommend to skip this because they're just going to install a bunch of various plugins and themes that we're also not gonna use. So at the bottom right here, again, let's click on skip. Okay, so next you're gonna enter in your domain name. Now think long and hard because this is the actual name of your website. In case you guys are total noobs and are still not sure what a domain name is, it is typically the address of your website where people enter to access your website. So think long and hard and just go ahead and enter it right here. I'll go ahead and enter a domain name here. So I entered in Wilson Daryl Tutorial. And what's also cool is they do give you other suggestions for other domain names. So that's also pretty helpful. So right here, I'll claim my free domain and then I'll click on next. Okay, so next you guys need to enter in your personal information on who actually owns this domain. This is typically required by ICANN laws and it also is helpful if you guys ever want to sell your domain because you can claim ownership of your personal domain. So right here, I'll just say this is personal and then I'll go ahead and click on next step. So next you'll enter in your contact details and this is important because this will show where your business was registered. You guys can also use your business address or where your business was incorporated. Once you guys fill out this information at the bottom right here, we'll then click on finish registration.
So next we have the target audience. So you're gonna select the location of where you are doing business, and this will actually lead to faster loading times. For example, I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna select United States. However, if I do business in France or something, I can always select like France if my, you know, my audience is in France, but uh, I'm in the United States, so I'm just going to select the United States region right here, and this will actually lead to faster loading times for this specific audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and select United States, and then I'll click on next. Okay, so this is the hosting or dashboard, and this is where you guys can access all the information about your domain name. Now, the very first thing that you guys will need to do is verify the domain that you guys purchased. So you guys will go ahead and check the email inbox right here, and you guys are gonna see an email from Hostinger. This is important because they need to verify the domain that it's actually you. So go ahead and verify this information. Now, the first thing I'll do is verify my email address for Hostinger, so right here, I'll click on verify email. Then I'll click on confirm. Okay, now we're not done just yet. We'll also need to go back here and we'll need to verify the domain in the actual email. So let's go over here to inbox. And then right here, it's gonna say, verify your contact information for your domain. I'll click on this email. And then right here, I'll click on this link. I'll go ahead and click on confirm. And that's it. So our domain has now been verified by Hostinger. So let's go back to our dashboard over here. And now let's go ahead and just refresh this page. And after that, you guys will see that all of the notices have disappeared and our domain is now fully active. Now let's install WordPress. So over here on the bottom left, you'll see websites. Right here, you'll see WordPress. Go ahead and click on WordPress. Now it's going to say install WordPress. So right here, I'll click on install. So next we're gonna create some login credentials. So make sure that you guys do write this down. And this is important because you guys will need this information when you want to log in and log out of WordPress, right? So I'll go ahead and put Daryl Wilson tutorial. This is my email address. This is important because if you guys do forget your WordPress password, it will be sent to this specific email on file. You'll create a username and then also a password. Once you guys create this information here at the bottom right, you'll click on next. So now it's gonna ask us which version of WordPress we want to install. Just always go with the recommended because this is usually the most stable and up to date. So at the bottom right here, I'll click on install. Okay, so once you guys click on install WordPress, it'll bring you to this dashboard right here. Now to log into your website with Hostinger, all you gotta do is click on this admin panel and this will log you into WordPress and also your website. So go ahead and click on admin panel. And just like that, your website's published. Congrats. If you guys wanna see the general WordPress dashboard here, you guys can click on dashboard and this will take you to the general WordPress dashboard where you guys can see the version and any messages that WordPress wants to display. If you guys wanna see your website here at the top left, you'll click on visit sites. And this is your new WordPress website. Now it's using a default theme. So this is all just demo content that you guys can edit later, but it did give you something to, you know, start with and work with. So this is your current live websites. Let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard. Now, if you guys wanna learn how to use WordPress with all the themes and page builders, we actually have a whole dedicated video that'll walk you guys through the process of how to build your website step-by-step. -step. But really quickly, let's go ahead and explore the hosting or options. So over here, you guys will see under websites, here is a list of all of the WordPress installations, right? So we have all these different domains and these are all WordPress websites. If you guys ever do wanna add more websites to your plan, all you gotta do right here is click on add a website and then click on WordPress. Next, you'll select the hosting plan. So I'll just go ahead and select the plan right here and then click on select plan. So next you'll enter in your credentials. So you'll enter in your language, your email, and then your password. Once you guys enter these credentials, you'll then click on next. Next, they'll ask you what kind of website you wanna build. You guys can just tell them like a basic website or something like that, right? Here, click on next. You guys will have the option to have pre-built templates or standard themes. Let's just go with standard themes and click on next. Here you guys can select a theme. You guys can always choose themes later. So you guys can just go ahead and skip this for now. You guys will have the option to select pre-selected plugins for your website, but I don't want to because I can install those later anytime I want. So here I'll click on next. We'll also go ahead and skip this section. I don't want to install any plugins. So I'll click on skip. We'll also skip this section here. This is using their AI. So I'll click on skip. Now you'll enter in your domain name. So right here, you guys can enter a domain name that you want. So darylwilsontutorial2.com. 
And then right here, I can click on the domain and then click on next. Next, you guys will enter in a billing period. So I'll just put one year right here. I'll use my real credit card and then I will click on complete payment. Now the credit card that you entered when you guys sign up with Hostinger, it'll just charge that credit card that they have on file. So right here, I'll click on complete payment. All right, now I'll click on next step. So next we have the contact details. This is important because if you guys ever wanna sell your domain or claim ownership, they need to know that it's your domain. So make sure that you guys have your contact details filled out, then click on finish registration. Okay, so once you guys create your domain, here you'll just click on connect. Now it's going to recommend the name servers. You'll then click on connect. This might take a few hours for hosting or to propagate your domain and website. So always just go ahead and check back to see if your website has been fully propagated. Okay, so once you guys wait like five to 15 minutes, right here, you'll click on admin panel and this will log you into your WordPress website. And just like that, we installed WordPress and our new website is published. You'll see right here, we have our new domain and our website is now live. So let's click on and visit sites and you'll see we have a brand new domain with a fresh installation of WordPress installed. So this is how you guys can install WordPress on multiple domains with hosting or, and your hosting plan. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All right, party people. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys have any questions about hosting or WordPress or anything WordPress related, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to your comments. My name is Daryl Wilson. Make sure to like this video and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.